So I saw trailer two of the Acolyte, and I will give my thoughts. But let's deal with the Elefante in the Rumo with um, Leslie Headland, who, if you don't know, back in the day was very cool with Harvey Weinstein, and Harvey rightfully got sent away a while ago. But more recently, apparently, had a bit of stroke of luck, and one of his convictions is going to be overturned. Now, don't worry, he's still going to be in jail, but he's now back in the news. Miss Leslie would tell us exactly what happened with her and Harvey, but no, no, no. We're going to be ignoring their questionable past history because, you know, she's queer feminist and they get to do that and cover up their crimes. Alrighty then, so let's jump into the trailer. Was it better than before? Yes, I'd have to admit, reluctantly, it was a better trailer than the last trailer. The music especially was very strong, and there are elements of the Acolyte that are interesting, right? We got Trinity, and the murder mystery setup seems intriguing enough. And again, some things in production design, especially the prequel moments, right? The Nemoidians and things like that, they actually look very sharp and on point. But beyond those elements, there's really not much here. I mean, we've had this story now quite a few times of exploring the backstory of the Jedi. We've already had Kenobi... We've had Andor giving us the broader context of the Empire and their politics. And we've even had Boba giving us a few more glimpses into Luke's past. Because if you paid attention, yeah, we got a few little more details about Luke and his rise. So in terms of learning more about the Jedi, we've got the prequels. We've got these other shows on Disney. We've kind of covered up quite a lot already. But now we're going far, far into the past. So presumably we're going to learn more about these queer Jedi and them facing off against red lightsaber guy or girl does it really mean anything probably not it still looks kind of trashy kind of low rent again maybe it'll work I mean I've not been impressed with this woman's writing skills and again she does seem to be typical Hollywood person she just worked for someone who worked for someone who worked for someone she put her time in and now she gets a show for being there I'm probably going to tune into the Acolyte when I can and mock it when I can, but it doesn't seem like the worst thing in the universe. But at the same time, like, who the hell cares, really? I mean, it's just like, all right, maybe, maybe not. There are intriguing things about this, but given her um, massive scandal with Harvey Weinstein and giving her, at best, mediocre talent, why should we care about this thing? Don't know, but I'm sure she's going to keep lying about Harvey and keep lying about the great significance of her revisiting the past of the Jedi. You know, because we already had three films doing that. But, you know, here we go. We need one more TV series because whatever. She needs another paycheck. 